Dimitri, it's week four of pre-season. Uh, how's it all going? It's been good. It's been tough. Um, it wasn't expecting anything else. But um, yeah, we've got four hard weeks done now. We're going to get a week break and then back for another four hard weeks before we start our pre-season games and our in the season. And what's the makeup at the moment? Is it mainly fitness or is it ball in hand stuff or a mixture of both? We've been doing both, um, which is refreshing. It's good to get your hands on the ball so early on because it gives you a bit of a head start. I know a lot of the other teams have been off this time, so us getting the ball, our hands on the ball, um, hopefully we'll be a little bit sharper come the first game. For yourself, is it good to get a full pre-season here? Obviously, I know you were a newer lad last year, so you came in a little bit later on, but you've been here since day one for this season. Yeah, it's been really good. It's always nice to get a full season of pre-season under your belt. Um, you go into the season with a bit of a head start and a good base, and yeah, I'm looking forward to that part of the, the season now. Obviously, some changes on the rugby side of things. How has it been since Paul's come in? How have, how have you reacted? How have the players reacted? It's been great. Everyone's got a little bit of excitement. Um, I know a lot of the guys are meeting him for the first time. And everyone seems to be happy, and uh, it, was good, it was good meeting him. It's been really good working with him. So, yeah, so far, so good. And what's sort of the feeling at the minute going into the new season, I suppose? Is it a case of anything could happen, or is it just, you know, sort of steadying the ship or building it? No, we've, we've definitely set ourselves for very high goals, and uh, we're going to be going for those goals. Um, we had to win the league. We had to finish top four. We had to compete in semi-finals and finals, and that's our goal. And uh, we'll be going for that this season. For yourself, obviously, last season is very well documented. Do you feel like it's a sort of case of making up for lost time at the moment? Yeah, definitely. I didn't get the time I wanted to get last year. When I did get the time, I didn't quite feel that I was at 100% either. Um, so I've been working hard now, getting the body back to where it was before I got injured. And uh, I'm looking forward to getting on the field now and showing showing what I got. We all know what Marcus did last year. James Lang had a great season, he's been away with Scotland. Tim Sweel missed quite a lot of the season as well with injury. It's competition for places in that 10 jersey. It must be exciting given as well that there's a new head of rugby. Yeah, it's great. Uh, it, there's competition in every position, I think, at the moment. I mean, we're looking at the centres, the wings, fullbacks. I mean, there's more than three players in every position who are world class players. And uh, yeah, James, Marcus, and Timmy are all world class players. I've been training with Timmy at the moment and he's been training so well. I mean, he's getting fit, he's strong, he's quick. So everyone brings a different dimension to their game and we're going to need all of all us, all four this season. So hopefully we all bring our A game. And finally, Dimitri, the fixtures are out tomorrow. Who are the first sort of ones you look for where you ring round the calendar against specific opponents? Yeah, you always look at the top two, top three, top four. Um, so this season, I mean, obviously Exeter and Saracens finished really well last year. Uh, we'll be looking at those uh, on the calendar, but uh, most of the time you just look at the first two games mostly the first game. There's a big hype always for the first one. So it's be interesting tomorrow to see who we got. And uh, around that hype, we try get on, get, try, get, try get a good result the first game and then push on from there.